Though King Charles might be perceived as reserved in public, those closest to him know a different side, one filled with warmth, humor, and unexpected displays of affection. As he turns 76, insights into his private life reveal a far more tender, tactile figure than his formal public image might suggest. Yet, his portrayal in Prince Harry's spare contrasts sharply, sparking debate about the real character of the king as both a father and a monarch. In the public eye, King Charles often exudes a sense of formality, with a traditional demeanor expected of a monarch. However, biographers and close family friends describe him as someone who sheds these airs around his loved ones. According to royal author Penny Junner, Charles's private persona is completely different from his official one. In his younger years, he reportedly adored spending time with his sons, engaging in playful rough-and-tumble sessions, sharing hugs and kisses, and often laughing freely. This contrast between public restraint and private tenderness reveals a man deeply connected to his family, a side of him that remains largely shielded from the media. Despite Harry's claims in his memoir Spare, where he recounts a childhood with nearly a zero-tolerance prohibition on all physical contact, Charles's affection is widely documented. Junner's 1998 book Charles, Victim or Villain? paints a vivid image of Charles playing with his sons, recounting how William and Harry would eagerly race across the field to greet him after his helicopter landed at Highgrove. Junner even describes how the young princes would joyfully jump into his arms, unbothered by the messiness of sheep-dotted fields. Charles, unafraid of getting his suit dirty, embraced these messy hugs, embodying a warmth often unseen by the public. Yet, Harry's memoir starkly contrasts this portrayal, suggesting a generational gap in displaying affection. Charles may have respected these boundaries with his mother, Queen Elizabeth II, who adhered to a more reserved style, but with his own children, Charles's softer side seemed to emerge more freely. As Charles has aged, his affection has, at times, become part of his public role, blending an informal formality into his engagements. From the heartwarming moment captured during his coronation rehearsal, where he hugged and kissed his grandchildren, to his interactions with well-wishers after his mother's passing, he has embraced a more approachable image. He has even shown a sense of humor and spontaneity, like when he famously danced in 1985 and shared a kiss on the cheek from a Spice Girl in 1997. These moments underscore a monarch who, while bound by tradition, does not shy away from expressing genuine warmth. King Charles's private life offers glimpses of a man who values connection, humor, and affection. While public decorum may define his official persona, behind closed doors, he is a father and grandfather who engages with his family on a deeply personal level. As he celebrates his 76th birthday, this completely different side to the king reveals a touching dimension of his character, one that bridges his role as a monarch with the joys and responsibilities of family. Despite contrasting accounts from his son, Harry, and royal biographers, Charles's evolution as both a leader and father reflects his commitment to balancing tradition with the warmth of human connection.